Hey everyone, I thought I'd do a quick update from my last video on backing up Apple Notes with Markdown using Obsidian. And as you know, Tahoe 26 is out and so is iOS 26. And now Apple Notes has export to Markdown as an option. So I wanted to take a quick look at this and see how it compared to my last video and how it compares to the Obsidian exporter. And the real question now is gonna be, is it as good as what the exporter does in Obsidian? And can you use this Markdown as a backup option? And if you're curious, just go back to that video on how to back up Apple Notes to Markdown files using the Obsidian plugin. All right, let's take a quick look at Apple Notes in Tahoe right now. If we go up to File, we're gonna see two new menu items. We're gonna see Import Markdown and Export as Markdown. So it's fantastic to finally see Markdown in Apple Notes. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export some of these notes. And you can see here I have some of the same notes from my last video. I wanted to make sure I had different note types. I have a scan, I have a regular note, I have a drawing, a PDF with annotations, an article from the web, and then two new notes that link back and forth to each other. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna select all of our files. Let me select them all, there we go. And then we go up to File, we choose Export as Markdown. We'll come up with a dialog, and I have an Apple Notes Markdown folder already created, and it'll save it as archive. I can call this whatever I want. I could just call this Backup in Markdown, and let's, let's export that. All right, the notes are exported. All right, let's jump over to that folder. You can see I have the Backup and Markdown in my Apple Notes Markdown folder that I created. Let's jump in there, and now you can see the Markdown files that I had just exported. And interesting, you can open up attachments and you'll see the attachments in here, some of the JPEGs and PDFs. So let's take a look at the files. We'll look at, take a look at that simple one, the vegan dietitian. Let's just open that with text edit and take a quick peek at it. I'll expand that a little bit and you can see pretty standard, just general text. We have the hashtag, we have the heading tag. If we open up the Schopenhauer note, we can take a look at that. Let's open that one up and text edit. And we can see some more Markdown in here. If I expand that a little bit, we have our header tags. We have the links properly formatted. There's a lot of text in here, a lot of links, hopefully to the attachments. So those will look good. All right, I've copied the folder over here to my Obsidian Vault. We can see I have the backup and Markdown folder here. When I open that up, we'll see the same files and attachments that we saw before. Let's take a look at some of the files. First thing we notice here is two headers, and that's because Apple Notes creates a header as the title itself, and Obsidian is just trying to create a title. But we have the tag, and we have, looks like a standard markdown that we saw before. Let's take a look at the article. The article looks pretty good. It has the images. This looks a little odd. I'm not sure why it tried to create a link for all of that some oddities here on the links. Doesn't look real clean, but looks like we got the imagery. All right, if we take a look at the file that had the attached PDF here, uh, we have a problem. Attachments fallback PDF could not be found. Let's take a look at attachments. And there's one PDF here, preview, and there that is the file right there. So let's go back and take a look at that again. Fallback PDFs, that's, fallback images and PDFs are something that macOS optimizes. Uh, on the file system, so it looks like the export did not work for that. Okay, let's take a look at a scan. The scan is, has a similar problem. Again, it's a fallback image, it's missing. And then let's take a look at the drawing. And again, the drawing has the same problem with a fallback image. Then we can also look at the two linked notes, and there's no links between them. All right, let's take a look at the same notes that I exported using the Obsidian plugin. If I jump back and where I exported all my notes, you can see here we could start with the article, and the article looks really good. Everything's nice and clean in the article. The scan, the scan comes through. The annotated PDF comes through just fine. The drawing, and I think I made a mistake in the last one. I can actually get the drawing to appear. There we go. That's a correction on the last one. And then links actually work. So if I have here, here's a link between two Apple Notes. It links in Obsidian. So we can conclude here that uh, Apple Notes is not necessarily exporting Markdown very well, at least in this first release. So what about importing? Let's take the notes we just exported and try to import those. 
So I'm going to go up to File, Import Markdown. I'm going to go right into that folder. Here are all the files. And I assume I just picked the files. I'm going to make a change here. I'm going to pick the attachments to. We'll go Import. It says Import into Notes. These files will be added. They may look different in Notes. So I created a new folder, Imported Notes. And I can see a problem right away. Looks like the scan, well, let's take a look. Here's the scan there. No, no scan. If we go over to the drawing, sketch is missing. And then we look at the PDF. PDF is missing. Are the images here in this note? No images. Where did the images go? And of course, things are not linking back. So let's try something a little different this time. I've created a new empty folder and let's try to import just the parent folder. So I'll go up to File, Import Markdown. There's the parent folder that had the exported files. Uh, I can see here, this article brought the images. Now I'm not sure if that actually imported the images or it's just because I have that same file in Apple Notes. But it looks like the drawing is missing. Yep, drawing is missing. PDF is probably missing. Yep, no PDF. And what do we have here? That's just the scan, and the scan's missing as well. So it looks like Apple Notes is not importing attachments correctly. So it looks like you really can't use the markdown capability in Tahoe as a backup mechanism for Apple Notes. I was really hoping that was the case, but looks like the markdown capability isn't complete yet. And that'll probably evolve as it goes. If I'm doing something wrong, please make a comment in the comment section below. Tau 26 is brand new, so maybe I missed a feature or a setting somewhere. But if you need a full backup, I suggest using the RTFD method, especially for your most important documents. Take a look at my other video on that and or get the free Obsidian tool with the plugin that allows you to export Apple Notes directly into Obsidian. And those are nice and clean exports. So appreciate you watching. Again, it was just a short video. Please subscribe if you haven't. It doesn't cost anything to you. It helps the channel quite a bit. And I'll be back with some more videos. All right, take care.